Electrical appliances transfer the energy carried by electrical currents to other forms. Lamps and bulbs transfer electrical energy to light. For example, a desk lamp transfers electrical energy from the mains into light. And in a similar way, a torch transfers electrical energy from a battery into light. Other examples of appliances that transfer electrical energy into light include digital displays on screens, traffic lights, and also car indicators. Motors transfer electrical energy into kinetic energy. A good example of this is a washing machine. A washing machine uses energy from the mains to spin a drum and pump water. An electric drill uses energy from a battery transferred to kinetic energy supplied to the motor allowing the drill bit to spin. Other good examples of this include cars or home appliances like blenders. Speakers transfer electrical energy into sound. A loudspeaker is used for amplifying sounds and an alarm is used for getting attention in an emergency. So other examples that transfer energy to sound include alarm clocks, radios and also megaphones. Heating devices transfer electrical energy to thermal energy. So some examples of this include a toaster and other cooking devices, and also electric heaters, which can be portable if they have a battery. Other examples of appliances that transfer energy to thermal energy include hand warmers, also electric ovens and kettles. For your exam, you don't need to know these exact examples but you should be able to describe the energy transfers that take place in simple electrical appliances, in particular those with motors or heating devices. So how exactly do we manage to generate heat from electric currents? Well, resistors gain thermal energy when a current flows through them. Remember that electric current is transferred within a wire. Electrons lose kinetic energy when they collide with ions, they then transfer energy to them. The ions then vibrate more and gain thermal energy. Heating devices use strong resistors to build up thermal energy. So the charge carriers do work on the resistors to give them thermal energy. The heaters then transfer this thermal energy to other objects through heat flows. For your exam, you don't need to explain how heating devices work in detail. So can an appliance only transfer electricity to one other form of energy? Let's have a look. Some electrical appliances transfer electrical energy to multiple forms. So for example, in a searchlight, energy is transferred into light for the lamp, but also into kinetic energy for the motor. This allows the light to reposition remotely. Another good example is a phone. There are multiple energy transfers which can occur. So for example, in the lamp for the screen, also in the speaker for sound, there's also a motor needed for vibrations. And there are also other light emitters which send signals. There are lots of other examples of complex appliances like these ones, such as cars, TVs and computers. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.